speaking earlier, it was so loud just a few minutes it ago. It was. <laughs> it just really intense, heavy rain, right? Yeah. So that was coming in with some upper level support. We've got our front also trying to lift in. And let's take a look and see what's going on out there. You've got the shower chances that are going to roll in for another few hours. And even isolated severe storm threats may be with us. Haven't seen the signs of lots of lightning yet, but we have had a couple of thunderstorms out there. And you see that broad low. That's what we're talking about in terms of the big area of showers and those thunderstorms that might move in. So that low is digging in. We've got those heavier downpours that have rolled through. So pretty good low level jet too, in addition to that upper level support. So we like the trend here to bring in good rains. Unfortunately, it could mean some flood concerns for folks to the north. You look at those heavy rain rates. We're talking about anywhere from two and a half to three inches at times in these spots around the northern Piedmont. And then in the southern Piedmont too, we've got some spottier action. But looking at those heavy downpours, we still have a threat through the overnight hours. Here comes our front lifting in and eventually that cold front rolls through overnight too. By 7 a.m. we are still anticipating a little patchy action possible. Clouds off and on throughout the day because we've got that big upper low that's still spinning out and so it'll kick in some more clouds. Showers and then snow chances on the western slopes. Even flurries possible in Sparta. Don't expect a lot in the way of accumulation. So the bigger concerns are tonight for the heavier rain that we've already seen today. Almost two inches of rain in Winston-Salem. Trying to get up to one and a quarter inch there. One and a half inches in Greensboro, a little over that. Trying to work on an inch in Reedsville. These are some of the airport readings and you can see around there we've had anywhere from two to three inches in spots around the Piedmont Tried. So looking at those flood advisories, this is going to last for folks in areas of Forsyth County. We have heavy rain on the roadways. We do have some areas that have seen some localized flooding, so we want you to be cautious as you're traveling out tonight, wherever you're going into the northern Piedmont too. This is a flood watch that's lasting through Sunday morning until 7 a.m. So localized flooding, that is the best risk right now that we have with these showers and heavy storms. Isolated storm chances for folks in the southern Piedmont, areas like Troy, uh, Winston-Salem, Greensboro, possibly one or two storms that could bring in some wind. We haven't seen that development right now, but we've got one more line to go. Temperatures tomorrow start to tumble. We are in the mid and upper 50s through middle of the day. The winds then begin to come up, but we're drying out. Winds come, coming up 25 to 30 miles an hour possible. Then we dip down to near 50 degrees by late afternoon. We've got you down into the upper 40s too in the foothills. You're breezy and not quite as gusty as folks are to the east and west of you. Mountains temperatures in the 40s start to build down into the 30s. Unfortunately, we're cold. It's blustery out there. We've got some snowy chances for you with gusts that might be as high as 35 to 40 miles an hour. And you see some of our forecast models suggesting it could be even worse on some of those higher peaks along the mountain ridges. That is all the way through the day tomorrow and then early Monday morning. So Monday it's breezy out there. May not be quite as gusty, but it's still a good system here that is rolling through. You see what's on the back edge of this. That snow could act uh, up in the mountains for the next couple of days. And then we get you into Wednesday looking at the next system. This one could roll through while temperatures are near normal in those low to mid 50s out there this week. We see the next system on Wednesday that could keep us in a cloudy conditions. Uh, we've got 40s out there and rain chances that build throughout the day. Even another round of mountain snow chances. I know this is good news for the ski slopes, especially since we had this little burst of spring on Friday with all those 70s. Oh, it felt so nice. I can't even remember though the 70s though now as we talk about the 50s coming up. Here's that next two days for you. Mountains into the foothills. You can see temperatures in the 30s there to 40s on Monday and then lower 50s for folks on Monday in the Piedmont Tribe. Not bad considering we should be at about 50 degrees this time of the year to 51 in the Piedmont Tribe. Windy and cooling down for you on your Sunday. We've got breezy conditions Monday. Good sunshine for you too up until Wednesday. Shower chances right now at 40 percent. We're a little cooler in the mid 40s and then back to some comfortable 50s end of the week. I think you're going to love the seven day forecast. We'll be back with more.